Do you guys, Corey, you've written a piece for The Villager with David Gruber of CB2, chairperson, uh, co-authored on Bikeshare. Um, what are your thoughts on Bikeshare? Do you want to see it continue? Are you happy with the way it's going, the way it was set up? Um, who, who, uh, let's try. Corey, first. Yeah. Great. I think Bikeshare uh, is very exciting. I think it is uh, a policy that we've seen has been used by hundreds of thousands of rides that have happened since the program uh, took place. And I think it's good that New Yorkers are getting healthy and getting active and actually exercising in many ways. I do have some concerns, and those concerns are around enforcement. Right now on the streets of this district and around the city, uh, people who are on bikes, both people that are using bike share or people who aren't using bike share but are cyclists, many folks are riding the wrong way, are running red lights, are riding on sidewalks, and there are a huge number of accidents, especially among children and senior citizens who are looking the right way and then a bike comes the wrong way. I think we have to make sure that enforcement takes place so that cyclists who are on the road know the rules of the road and are making sure that everyone is safe. And I have one other concern, which is the vast majority of the docking stations really worked, uh, but there were some that didn't work. Some of them were in places that were in front of buildings that had people that needed accessoride or uh, an ambulance couldn't get up at one building in the village because of the uh, docking station. We have to make sure that when any, whenever there's a new innovative program that the city is rolling out, it's done in a community-minded way with local voices that are participating and letting the city know where it works and where it doesn't work. Overall, I think bike share is a good thing. The bigger issue is enforcement and making sure that cyclists who are on the road are respecting the rules of the road and keeping everyone safe. campaign trail that I would like to continue to do in City Council to ensure that the community is making decisions about things like bike share, which has overall been fairly successful, is I do a weekly uh, neighborhood survey. And when the City Bikes came out, we did a survey on that to get a feel from the community about what they like and what they don't like. And I invited people to come up with not just criticisms, but also with solutions for some of the problems. And the problems that people identified is that um, there really is still a safety issue for folks who maybe aren't familiar or used to bicycles in the streets, um, who maybe are um, walking with uh, uh, some difficulty or for whatever reason can't get out of the way of bicycles. So an enforcement issue came up. The other thing that people didn't like is that many of the bike shares were just put down without a lot of advance notice from communities or input from the communities. Um, so what I was struck by is some of the creative genius that comes out of our community. Um, there were a number of great ideas. Uh, and I'm sorry, one other concern was that as people often said, it, it was kind of like a, a, a walking or bicycling advertisement for Citibank, right? Because it's all Citibank. Uh, so one of the many great ideas that came out of the feedback from the survey is that we should move the city bike shares and put them in front of all of the city banks. Since they're the ones. Um, but, you know, so I do think that getting community involvement is important. I think it's easy to say, but I think I've shown through this campaign and through my work over the last 20 years a real commitment to engage the community. And I really do believe a lot of the solutions uh, to the problems that our community faces comes from the community. And I'll continue to get your feedback uh, as we deal with other issues that come up in the community. Okay, um, we're going to go to our second 